At 82, Stephen Luanga identifies himself as a grandson of Sanyo Baby's home. Luanga is a son of the late Canon Benon Luanga, who was a clergyman at St. Paul's Cathedral, Namidembe. Luanga is a retired civil servant with the World Health Organization. He was the first director general of the Uganda AIDS Commission and has also authored six books. You see, my father was orphaned at, at birth. His mother, Nabunya, died in childbirth. She must have been a very young girl in 1906. Luanga's grandfather left the baby at Mengo Hospital in the care of missionary nurses. The nurses helped to, to, to bring up the child, who newly born child, up to I don't know to what age. From this experience, the nurses realized that many orphaned and abandoned babies needed care, prompting the idea of starting Sanyu Baby's Home. My father was the inspiration for the establishment of Sanyu Baby's Home. He was the person they said they could do it, bring up a child from birth, and there were other children whom they realized needed that kind of support, and with that inspiration they established an orphanage. Barbara Nancha Mutagubia, the chief executive officer, reveals that the Church Missionary Society, a British mission society, established Sanyu Baby's Home. Yes. So Winfred Walker came in as a midwife to work in Mengo Hospital helping ladies to deliver and as she was working she realized the increasing number of abandoned babies in the labor ward and also the hospital compound so she started keeping them in her home and giving them much needed care and protection until the number became huge that it was evident she couldn't handle them by herself. 94 years later, Sanyu Baby's home continues to this day because child abandonment is still common. Child abandonment is becoming rampant. A young girl of 14 doesn't become pregnant by herself. We sometimes talk about the girl child. We've got to talk about the boy child as well. It's the boy child who makes the boy girl pregnant. The home has been styled to offer joy and comfort to the babies who are brought through its gates. So by the time the children get into our care, they're already traumatized. They are very sad. They have gone through so much and we want them to find joy in this place. So we call it home of joy. But one may wonder how do the babies get accepted into the home? Usually brought in by the police and probation officers. The Children's Act amended in 2016 mandates the police and probation officers to place such babies, abandoned children, in child care institutions. They go ahead to get care orders from the Chief Magistrate's Court so that each child in our care has a care order and is known by the government and is here legally. Nancha explains what then is done after the babies are received. So the child is not automatically placed for adoption as soon as they arrive. We first have to do the social inquiry because we have an exit plan that we make for each child that comes in. So the social, work, the social workers will go out to trace for the known relatives and if we find them it is a process preparing them, ensuring that they are ready to receive the child and then we shall take back the child home. Sanyo Baby's home is authorized to accommodate 50 toddlers at any one time. Though sometimes the children abandoned are many and we haven't had many living and so sometimes we go beyond our capacity. I mean if today we had 50 children and then police in the night drove in with two babies that they've just rescued from a pit latrine. We don't we can't tell them we don't sorry we don't have space. We would obviously take in the children, but then we would also work hard to ensure that the ones that we already have and are working with are eventually reintegrated into community. A priority of the home is the reunification of the children to their known relatives. However, Nancha says only forty percent of the children are reunited with their relatives every year. Ugandans have embraced the adoption culture and many adopt children for various reasons. Me, me and my wife, we have one biological daughter. But our eldest daughter is, an, we, is adopted, legally adopted. However, a number of requirements have to be met to facilitate the adoption process, some of which include fostering the child for one year. So not everybody that walks into Sanyu Baby's home with an intent to adopt that will qualify it. But as per the law, any Ugandan who is above 21 years of age is eligible to adopt. 
not all children are lucky to get adopted. Some reach their fourth year without anyone expressing interest in adopting them. Sanyo Baby's Home survives on donations from good Samaritans like Luanga, who is a major donor Rotarian with the Rotary Club of Kampala. I work with my Rotary Club of Kampala to keep Sanyo Baby's Home, our entities which we give support uh, every now and then. Without these donations, it would be difficult to provide clothing, feeding and health care for the children. Mildred Pedun, NTV.